my first time blogging. I'm gonna give y'all a tour of my everyday life at, down in the south. Working at the GM dealership, doing my thing. Working on GMs. So, a lot of y'all up north seen me disappear. Cause I had to move up in life. So, came down south, South Carolina. Do my thing and get money. So that's what we do. I'm gonna get y'all a tour and a brief to toolbox tour. All my tools and projects going on, cars I'm working on, and what I do every day down here. So we're gonna flip this camera around and start getting y'all a tour. First, it's the one, two, three, four YF machine for the new Freon and the new vehicles. I'm gonna back this camera out a little bit. That's what I use to charge the 2017 and newer vehicles. Got the new Freon in it. We're gonna walk around. This the old machine, R134A, that I use. To charge the old vehicles. Anytime my AC work come in. This is a Buick Encore that got a, for anybody to know about GMs, the crank seal leaking, making a chirp noise when it's loaded on the engine. So I'm in the middle of that right now. It's approximately 4.45 in the morning, the time of this recording. So I'm in here before everybody else. I open the dealership, come and go as I please. So... I'm gonna get that done in a minute and get it out of here. Got a electrical problem I got running an old 04 Caddy DTS out there charging the batteries. I can get that out of here. That'll be out of here soon. Got a, a Zern with a 3.9 in it. I got to pull the engine apart. I'm going to be doing that later on in the day. Got another Luzerne with an electrical problem. Wires touching it around the crank sensors. So I'm going to be up in this hole over here. Dealing with the harness back there. Car randomly shutting off and all types of crazy crap. So Basically the same style car. I want a few years older. But got two of them in here. Well, that's the end of the work I gotta do for this morning. So, so as you can see, I got fans. But when it's hot up in here, step ladders so when I need to step on the truck. Jack stands and all types of parts and shit laying around. Spare batteries. Stuff like that from when I'm working. It's my uh, Mac Bleed 773 Jamestown cart that I just got loaded with tools. Got my breaker bars and long extensions. Everything down in the side down in there. 3 8 extensions, half inch extensions. Tire tested, trim tools, long, ext long extended trim tools, long screwdrivers. Pockets. These are my half inch swivels. Came off Amazon. They ain't let me down yet. It's my 3 8 swivels. Came off Amazon. They ain't let me down yet. Oil filter socket for two fours. Oil pressure uh, switch socket. O2 sensor socket. Another oil pressure switch socket. It's my 3 8 mid length uh, I believe these is gear wrench they got my half inch swivels some of them harbor freak some of them macro tools another oil filter socket back there crank socket for uh, LS's 
gear wrench uh, swivel set 3.8. You got my star 3.8 sockets. You got my uh, E Torx 3.8 impact swivels. Some of them Mako, some of them Harbor Freak. Swivels, reducers, little extensions, reducers from 3.8 to uh, half inch. Oh. Uh, Quarter to three eight, or three eight the quarter. Got my small e torques for quarter inch drive. Some swivels, some extensions. My three eight impact deep. These are husky. These are my Milwaukee three eight chrome deep. I like this set. Barely use it, but I like. I bought them because I like the way they look. Got my half inch uh, deep, short, and deep. In the back, back there, mix and match of brands, make a whole set. Gotta get a 23 and a 25, but I got all other sizes. Think of my 38 Chrome Deep that I use all the time. Instead of using the Milwaukee over there, and 38 Short, got all my quarter inch sockets. And deep Metric, got another set of Deep Metric. These are Cobalt. These are uh, Husky and the mixture and stuff. These are Craftsman. They got my star deep quarter inch drive. Multiple flashlights. My Harbor Freight one, that one works all the time. I got multiple batteries for that. A Mako pin light. A flashlight holder when I need to stick a flashlight to the frame to see. Like how I got on this Encore over here with a flashlight. Got one there. You gotta be able to see when you're working on these raggedy cars. So we're gonna open up the first drawer. Screwdrivers, trim tools, picks, mixture, craftsman, uh, trim tools, more trim tools, fuel line disconnect, battery clean tools, small trim tool pry, got a file. Valve stem tool, a homemade valve stem tool that I made. That's pretty good. Never let me down. Magnets. I got a long extended trim tool. Telescope and a mirror. Got two different sizes on that. Air blow tools. All my attachments for my uh, impact driver. Hood hold tool for when you got bad shocks to hold the hood up. You know, more picks. I use these all the time. More magnets, long extended magnet by Craftsman. More short hammer, more trim tools. Long extended trim tool there. That's basically up it for this drawer. You got my ratchet and extension drawer. Got a quarter inch over here, my 3 8 ratchets. It's a mixture of Harbor Freight and Husky and Craftsman and so they don't let me down. I ain't spending all that crazy money on no snap-on crap. These long extension set here I got from I believe I got from Advance. So when I need to be able to get far away and work on something, that's where I got them at. My half inch extensions, a mixture of old tools I had, half inch uh clutch ratchet that's from a uh, northern tool craftsman half inch this is a heart this came from walmart this is a extendable ratchet pretty good don't don't let, never let me down and my spark plug sockets got them from matco got magnets on the bottom they work pretty good they never let me down so, french extensions 380 extensions i got um uh, Multiple quarter inch ratchets, swivel head, they, they craftsmen, and yeah, all of these are craftsmen. And long extended 5 8 a, a spark plug socket I got in there because I ain't nowhere to put it at. Quarter inch nut driver. Uh, that's it for the extensions and ratchets. And my flyer drawer. These are my hose clamp. Uh, set. Uh, this is my seal puller. Got that from Mako. 
Kyle cut holes, this is a hose cutter. Some Milwaukee uh, vice grips. Digital tire grades, oil filter rinse, long extended needle noses when I need them. These them precision cut uh, pliers, trim tool pliers. I just got them, they work pretty good. Wire cutters. Several different, several different sizes, regular pliers, got channel locks, got a couple few pairs of them, uh, short needle noses, long needle noses, medium needle noses, those are long ones over there, you know, diagnostic tools, a tire tester kit, lubrication, dielectric grease, grease from when I need it, it's an oil filter wrench, this worked pretty good, but when you can't get a tool to get oil filters off you wrap that around and use the extension that takes it off pretty easy that never let me down my wrench drawer here some of them I got more in the tools box I'll come over here and cut this YouTube video this is my 60 inch TV my computer that I work with I'm gonna pause that it's too loud. Yeah, I'll be in here watching YouTube in the morning. Got the whole Craftsman set, the large Craftsman set. Yeah, it came from Lowe's. Got some, um, I guess 45 degree ratcheting and wrenches. Could be wrong on that, but they're ratcheting and wrenches. They're gonna long ratcheting and wrenches. Use this all the time, the 10 and the eight, and the 13 and the 15. He swivel these things is, is the truth. A lot of them. My uh, O2 sensor wrench, I just leave it as the old Craftsman 7 8. That never let me down. My Craftsman uh, gunmetal set. I got 111. It don't come with 11, so I got a random door last 11 in, in between that set. And my flex head ratchet and set from Cobalt. Some of my Maco and Mac. One of them is, is, is Mac, the 16s, it didn't come with the 16s. So. Got a set there. That's it for the wrenches that I work in my roll cart. My hammer drawer, cleaner tool, air hammer I got from Cobalt. Put the quick release chuck on there that I got from Mako. That makes everything easier but taking out them different bits and all of that, instead of them using that little spring tool that it come with, that's stupid. My quarter inch uh, air ratchet from Cobalt. And my 38 air ratchet from Cobalt. My Ingersoll ran. That gun never let me down right there. That gun will break something there. I had to buy a few things behind messing with this gun. This gun you don't play around with, and it's plastic. It's the best gun I've owned as far as the impact gun, half inch. Got a rubber mallet. Got a dead blow. This came from Northern Tool. This came from Walmart. This is like a five pound uh, hammer there. This is like a two pound hammer here. There go some of my tools for the tire machine. If I need to open up some exhaust, I use them to bang into the exhaust. We don't do exhaust work here, but I, every now and then I run into side jobs where I got to do exhaust. But they are uh, actually uh, tools for the tire machine to, 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 to do mount different rims to the tire machine from my old machine that we don't use no more. So. And cut off wheel. That's an Angus all around. Uh, this is a Husky uh, drill that I made a whiz wheel for when I need to clean up certain things, bottom of my heads and intake, stuff like that. This is my electric power drawer here, basically, and straps when I need to tie stuff and magnet trays, funnels, mirrors, suction cups when I do uh, window regulators. Uh, flashlight hitting down in there. I need to see something, and I need real bright light or magnet trees. Um, it's my quarter inch Milwaukee. Um, this light duty uh, electric ratchet. This is a medium duty. This is the high torque three eight. Use these all three of these all the time. This is my Dewalt three eight impact. This work good. Use this all the time. It's a 12 volt. 
We got a Bosch half inch one. That one works good. I got that off of eBay. That's that's a good gun there. I had two of them since I've been working on cars. So use that all the time. Use all of them. Got my Mako High Torque 38. This one bad badass too. That's a take off wheels. That's a 38 drive. So use that a lot. Come on over to my storage cabinet now. So I got a lot of kits and stuff like that. This is the kit for my uh, AC detector. I got, this is the box on my little Mac, uh, battery charger. I got a bunch of phone cords and chargers and extra stuff in there. Test speaker sitting up in there for when I need to test vehicles where the audio don't work. The paper that I store for a printer and receipts in this little case here when I pay for different little things. It's my old mentor scanner. I don't use it too much no more. But I think I'm gonna sell that online. This is the I forget what I got in here. And these are all the uh, attachments for my lead this is for my uh launch tool on my diagnostic scanner, my aftermarket market scanner that I got in a box of my Galaxy Z Fold 2 pins that I got there. Cleaning pads, brake cleaning sprayer, like the hydraulic fluid for the SRX uh, pumps for the lift gate, transmission fluid, brake fluid, spare water pump back there for a 3.6 cleaner. It's awesome. I use that all the time. Antifreeze, anti-seize lubricant, RTV. Uh, cleaning stuff when I need to shine my car, shine my toolbox. Uh, wash soap for when I wash my cars or my truck. Down here, I got a jump pack. I got a uh, storage container, like a pack out, but it was a cheap one. I used that for when I got doing big jobs in the interior. And I got a pile of bolts and I need to keep organized. It's my coffee maker machine. And my gloves, I keep them up in there. So when I need gloves and I'm working on something messy or something, got a bunch of oil leaks. For my welder, my grease gun, grease front ends, and my mask for it. I got some old Freon down there. Uh, that's it for my storage cabinet. And again, they go my 16 inch TV that I got. I use that watching YouTube, or if I need to go outside, program some vehicles with my wireless keyboard put everything up there so I can see and I ain't got to sit and carry my computer around. Uh, I just cut it on and program vehicles from my three bays here. Uh, I do a bunch of programming work and electrical work here. So, diagnostics, diagnostics and schematic screens. I put all that up there on the big screen so I can see. It's my computer. I upgraded that to a big block computer. Got 16 uh, gigs of memory in there. It's an i5. Uh, I do all my programming and all that on it, so it does everything I need it to do. So far, I'm gonna upgrade uh, eventually, but right now, it does everything I need to do. So, it's all my GM programs. I open up when I want to scan a car and see what's going on when I get these problems to come in here. Put arrows and magnetize up on different little things. They got my printer when I need to print. And my power strip with all my phone chargers and everything and the power for the cabinet all that goes through there this is my 52 inch husky box the bottom half look at the top half over there on top of the 72 inch box so we're gonna open up this first drawer this is basically my electrical drawer they got my mdi so i can hook to a car so i can scan it they got my wireless keyboard for when i need to sit in the car and i ain't got to carry that computer around and do programming from the car or I gotta go outside and do all of that while looking at that screen. Um, got a headlight, got some finger lights. My wife bought, bought me these. I think it was a Christmas present not too long ago. Touch up paint for my cart, my roll cart. Little mini Phillips screwdriver for when I need to take different little things apart, change the batteries in them. Got wire for when I need to do, need wire to jump something or whatever. And my test leads for when I need to Struts from the front to the back of the car. These are pretty good. Like them. Remote for my TV. This is my remote tester from when I need to test and see if remote's any good. When people come in and say their remotes don't work. It's 
my tire pressure program when I got that off of Amazon. I got that off of Amazon too, that uh, remote tester. On my Xtron scanner, when I want to be lazy and don't have to hook the big crap up, or I get an old car, this dude, OBD1 and OBD2, so I keep that in the drawer. And go a uh, wireless test light. That works pretty good. You grind yourself and touch the fuse and it makes the noise and beep. A standard test light. I got a digital test light. I got an audible test light, which is here. That makes noise when you touch it. And the USB uh, tester, tells me what power is putting out. My starter. When I test a starter, I need to put power to it. A car don't start or whatever it is, and I need to put power to it. That's what I use for that. It got a push button on there so I can crank a car and test it. Whether it's a starter or whether it's a computer problem or a signal problem. More extra wire, fuse holder if I need it. If I need to load a circuit and I need to put a fuse in line, this is what I use. This is how I load test circuits. Homemade uh, light socket with that with pins on it so I can use it. Multiple spark testers. An old school tester. That's how I pull wires off with it running so I don't get shocked. You know, another one of those wireless testers. I got a backup for when I need it. Another spark tester. That's a spark tester. And my noise likes to check fuel injectors. A you know, USB socket for when I get one to come in and the USB socket don't work. I can plug one in the test to see if it worked. My memory saver. Will be the memory saver. I change the battery and I don't want to lose settings or whatever it is. I hook this up and then hook them to my jump pack. So that's a pretty cool tool. Um, here go my uh, timer solenoid tester. When I need to test timer solenoids and four cylinders, that's a constant problem. They're going to look for the, uh, the newer engine, the 2.0 turbo. I use them, plug that in and test the, the timer solenoids. So that works out. 12 volt tester. I need to see the power coming out, or if I need to hook my jump leads to it, or if I need power and ground from the inside. Or, or some cars don't have good grounds on the doors or anything like that, so I get it from the, t the 12 volt socket. Get it right here, hook my test leads up to it. That's pretty good. Got some tape. In case I get any tape, some fenders off when I'm taking the full front ends off, do radiators and AC condensers so I don't scratch people's cars. Some liquid ele electrical tape. Uh, that's my electrical drawer there. Next drawer is another electrical drawer. This right here is my wire chasing thing from Klein Tools. I use this when I connect to the front and see if it's a break in the wire I can follow it down through the wire harness and find where the break at that's a good tool to save me and save me a lot of time chasing the broken wire <laughs> on my edge round uh scanner had that for a long time that one never let me down got a fluke one there bunch of attachments for my test light uh they got some probes whatever I hook to the scanner more probes more probes. That's how I pierce the wires if I need to do that. That's the hack way, but it's a good way when you're trying to find problems and you need to make sure a voltage is going through through your so you hook your scanner up to it or your test tester to it. That's a good thing. This kit is my relay tester. I can take the relays out and test test the actual relays and light a flash green or red if it's a problem with a relay or the relay bag. Attachments for the uh, got this one from Mac. This is for my uh, the testers here. The multimeters. This is my relay circuit tester and you hook this this is how you touch the, the circuit side or the car and it tells you whether it's a fault with the car or not so I use that a lot that saved me a lot of time I 
Tell me what's the problem with the car. The problem with the fuse box. This is my relay jumper kit. I mean, we activate uh, relays. These got a little flip switch on it. Here go another. That's how I can hook leads to it to see what power is going to go to what. Yeah, that's a pretty good kit too. I use them all the time. That's pretty much everything from a diagnostic electrical drawer. This is my soldering guns and stethoscope so I can listen to things when things bad. A manual heat gun. My attachments, my attachments for my launch tool, glue gun. You know my helping hands when I need to solder wires, when I need to sit down and solder wires or solder something. I got a magnifying glass on that. That's pretty good. I got that from Harbor Freight. My holders for my soldering guns, soldering gun, soldering gun, old school soldering gun that came from Radio Shack. Tell you how old that is. And my Dremel, if I need that. Need to open something up or got a problem with clearance on something. This is uh my AC drawer. This got multiple AC UV lights. Got one there, one there. That's my hard afraid I don't use that. But this is the believe this came from Advance. Use that every now and then. Temperature to uh temperature gauge when I put putting vents when I'm testing the air conditioner. There's a little uh, the flux from when I'm soldering cider and get that uh, braided uh, electrical tape when you need to cover harnesses up after you fix the wire more cider it's a tenon flux uh, sticks for my glue gun more cider this is my clean wake and get some black mustard there this is my promoter there well, I need to make sure a good con connection is in the plug. I use that. Spare batteries. Another temperature gauge I put in a digital one. Got that off of Amazon. That's for meat, actually, but it's works good for AC. More of that super sticky electrical tape. Got a torch. Well, I need to melt heat shrink. Another UV light I got. So I can test and see. Where AC leak at, leak at. Infrared temperature gauge. I use that all the time. That came from Harbor Harbor Freight. When I need to see the temperature of some hoses, UV glasses, tire plug kit. We don't do that too much, but I use them. Some clamps. I'm gonna do the key recalls on the old CTSs for the unattended key rotation. Put the key in those and hold them and glue the center part in it. Magnifying glass. I had this forever. Flip that out when I need to see something. Down here, I got my mat. I like this better than the creeper because I can just fold this out, put it on the floor, and lay on that if I want to be lazy and don't jack nothing up. Got my fluid evacuator, a mighty vet. My seahorse holders, when I need to put a bumper on there or a dashboard, I put these out, put the dashboard on the top. I'm plug for my underhood light. More attachments for my Ektron scanner. More gloves. Well, I'll keep that in that drawer. So I store my pens and a macro toolbox. I need to order some tools, stapler, and paper clips. My wire strippers, these are pretty good. These are my, I guess, 90 degree ones. I crimp and strip wires. I got that. I think these is from OTC. More wire strippers. More cutters and crimpers. Uh, crimpers there. Some precision cut uh, wire cutters. They work pretty good. My battery tester, 12 volt socket tester, just tell me what the alternator doing or the, what condition the battery in. They go my ways. If I got a break in the car, I use that to flex the door so I can get in if the key's locked in. This is my old Ektron uh, GM scanner. Put that in to flash the lights for old cars, like 90 
95 on down or 94 on down whatever year though. I think it's 95 on down extension cords old school battery tester there I can put a load on the, on the battery my Milwaukee uh, saws all the ones you plug in welding gloves and burn your hands this is my fill uh, antifreeze up got the ball of attachments and stuff down in there you know, spill free antifreeze funnel multiple battery testers chargers flashlights magnets when I use them stick arrows on it battery chargers on my 18650 batteries you know my launch tool there I keep that going just in case I got multiple cars with check engine lights on I could use that along with using my GM stuff doing a bunch of updates right now A Boss charger, DeWalt charger, Milwaukee charger, hand sanitizer, um, lotion. I got my Streamlight uh, Stryon, extra battery. My Mako uh, battery charger, Milwaukee flashlight, headphones, these earbuds here. Got them off Amazon, they work good. With some more uh, earbuds with a neck brake was on it when I need to talk on the phone lighter for I need to light things and burn things. Allen wrenches, pins, uh, and my cutter for tube and cutter. Uh, little miscellaneous drawer there. Another miscellaneous drawer, scrapers and big long pick tools and extra wedge tools. And it's basically an extra drawer there screwdriver drawer the more picks and star star screwdrivers picks and craftsman set of regular screwdrivers it's my eyeglass kit dash the small screws and torques and your harbor freight screwdriver kit and you use the bang on with the metal tips on it like that hose clamp uh screwdrivers 516 316 i got the quarter and all of that old ford repair tool for spark plugs popping out I might have did that. But I wind up keeping that. Another trim tool, clip tool. You know my uh, slanted needle nose. I keep these in here because I use them for when I can't get clips off. They got my hose clamp pliers in the back. They got my Nipix. These things is, is bad right here. These when you got something stripped, that's the pliers you grab there. My snap ring plier set. Got them from Mako. Another snap ring pliers, another snap ring pliers, another snap ring pliers. These are some old channel locks I found somewhere, so I'll keep them in the drawer. So more electric power drawers. I got my DeWalt heat gun, my impact driver, regular drill. I use that with different attachments and for drill bits and DeWalt drill bit kit. More accessories. Another drill bit kit screw extractor kit a little Ryobi uh, interior nut driver 90 degree to walk kit there when it is hard to reach areas I'm gonna step uh, drill bits these are my uh, screw extractors when you got short bolts you put them on more extractors a little, uh, uh, bit kit is long that I use I'm doing interior work. Not there from Mako. Solder and gun from Milwaukee. Saws off from Milwaukee. Extra batteries. The camera that I use when I need to look inside the cylinder to see if it got busted pistons or to see what's going on inside of a cylinder or a place that you can't see. Attachments for my heat gun, saws all blades. My pass through socket kit from Husky. Rarely use that, but every now and then I come a time when I need it. Oil filter uh, stickers I need to put on when I change oil. Uh, half inch uh, impact sockets, half, uh, three impact sockets. 
drive shaft sockets was a 12 point uh like forwards and stuff like that quarter inch chrome uh standard sae extra pittsburgh metric sockets and my uh, sae uh islands extra sockets back there my axle nut socket set i got from harbor freight i use that all the time more standard uh impact sockets every now and then i use them it's my 10 millimeter kit that my wife got me you can get them on amazon I got all different sizes of 10 millimeters because that's what you always lose it's pretty funny but i like that my gas pedal pressure pry bar that old school pry bar on down to this drawer uh, metric Street ratchet wrenches and gear wrenches. I had them forever. The Husky ratchet wrenches. Got a short and Pittsburgh short ones. And my uh, Harbor Freight long one, long uh, metric wrenches. Just in case I need them. Short stubby metric wrenches. My SAE wrench drawer. Got a whole set of that. My large wrenches, ratchet wrenches, swivel head ratchet wrenches, SAE line wrenches more ratchet wrenches SAE my specialty tool drawers my 3.6 cam holding tool when I do 3.6 time and change GM water pump 2.4 water pump tool belt tool for a hybrid cam holder for uh, what is that uh, I think 2.4 lock the cams and that's the tool, the other part of the tool. It's three balance and remover tool. Brake pad, uh, caliber press tool. Press the calibers back when you're doing bricks. Seal puller, power steering puller, and installer tool. Another brick tool. Brick tool, brick tool. Tube and bender, belt installer. Cloak, uh, hose clamp punches. Pitman iron puller, puller. This is a vial puller there. Change vial seals. It's a stud extractor here. That works good. I use that all the time for when bolts break and then you get to get the studs out. My coolant tester, fuel pressure tester. Another fuel uh, uh, compression tester. More stuff I can put to the drills for cleaning. Coolant tester fitting. That's why I keep my Torque wrench is a digital cobalt one, half inch drive, three drive craftsman digital wrench. It's my Harbor Freight click wrench, torque wrench, extra tire pressure gauge, multiple things. I hook the engines when I pull the engines, and more three draw pullers, and a bunch of electrical connectors over there. I cut off harnesses when I gotta do iron and screws and stuff. I can hook tools, disconnect tools from my uh, cut off wheels and all that. I keep all of that in the bottom drawer down there. Where I keep keys at and that drawer so ain't too much in there but they get racked up during the day with some line wrenches uh, metric cobalt set crow's foot set here's my recall drawer from the duty airbag recalls on the new trucks and you gotta use this electrical tape taped around the floor and a carpet hall ring tool nut rivet installer tool rivet tool some oil filter pliers I don't use no more. Attachments for my Dremel rivets. It's my vacuum tester drawer there. I can test purr solenoids. And I use the uh, Mighty Vac system there to bleed calibers and all of that. And it's a multi tool. It's a pretty, pretty good tool. I use that all the time. Like extra stuff that I keep in there, screws and bolts and attachments to lift my toolbox up. So I'll do that in a minute. Keep clips in there. And it's a accessory drawer, extra parts. I can roll that 72 in this box up. I'm gonna roll it up. So I keep extra tests tools at coils and test coils and purge solenoids and iron cord coil 038 module and wireless charger 
EGR valves, old trucks, coils for LS, fuel pump plugs, LED lights, two umbrellas back there, old AC tester, fender cover, some extra parts for my truck. That's pretty cool. Goes up pretty high. I'm gonna upgrade these toolboxes eventually and probably get me a big Mac toolbox. Got it on order. That's why I keep my extra relays, screws, and fuses, and connectors, and all types of stuff in there. I keep them when I need it. My island set drawer there. Good set I got from Amazon. It wasn't that much. Uh, uh, Star bed and triple square set socket. Rarely use them. And the big island set there. Some extra uh, socket rails and some extensions I don't use. It's an extra drawer. A little small position file set there. And wire brushes and screwdrivers, some punches. Uh, Oh, air gun I don't use, but every once in a while if I need it. The uh, monkey wrenches, adjustable wrenches, C clamps if I ever need them. Yeah, a little small air hammer for the big one on work, and some tie rod uh, wedges, and old hammer that I found somewhere and kept that in the drawer. And compression tester there, caliber set, and impact screwdriver, extra charger, everything on my Hamana balancing tool. You go a steering wheel puller, just a uh, puller set, you got all different things in there. Got my own water dispenser over there. And my lounge chair, on my stool when I need to sit at it sit at my toolbox and work and that's basically it that's how it go it's all my tools pretty sure stuff I'm missing but this is giving you a tour of what I go through every day and what I use my tools my layout so I'm gonna get back to work I'll holler at y'all later